We just finished clearing Memory of Chaos, so now it's time to shift my focus to Pure Fiction. I got really, really close with this run where I used Gallagher, and recently I finished, well, I didn't finish building, but I got Himiko all the way to level 80. So replacing Gallagher with Himiko, I think should be enough to get the remaining few points that I was missing. So I'll show you guys the first half. I'll probably speed it up because there's nothing particularly special about this run. I'm running Lynx just because I tried running No Sustain and using Shui Yi instead, but it was just less consistent. Like I could definitely get 30k, but a lot of my characters started dying and it relied more on hit RNG, like who got hit and who didn't get hit. So I just thought, screw it, just put in Lynx and then have a one and done situation. So, like I said in my previous video, none of my characters are fully maxed out. That includes Robin, that includes Clara. Their traces are like 888 or like maybe some of them are level 9. And then with Herda, she is far from being leveled up all the way. I think even her Lycone's still at level 70. But the goal of this isn't to try to 40k and completely clear. The goal of it is just, just to try to show what can be achieved on a free to play account without being a day one player. Because my actual account might not be as relatable as I initially thought. Like before I created the channel, I didn't think I had a particularly special account, but it's weird because I don't think I have a specialized audience yet. Like I don't think my videos are reaching one specific group of people. Some of the comments I get are from people who are clearly relatively newer to the game. And then I see a comment from someone who's pretty much a complete meta player. And I think that's great that so many different types of people are watching my content. But it just makes it hard to figure out who exactly the target audience is. Initially, my main goal was to be one of the few creators who actually re remains free to play and encourages the free to play playstyle. Just because I don't really think gacha games are. Like, gacha games are fun, but it's. When you talk about gacha games with people who don't really play them, a lot of them just think it's pay to win garbage. And there's definitely pay to win. I'm not going to deny that there's pay to, that there isn't pay to win in these games. But I think reducing yourself to that mindset ruins a lot of the fun in these games. These games can be so fun if you're free to play. And honestly, I think that's actually a more fun way to play these games. If you restrict yourself with sources of pull income and, and in-game resources, you need to be much more selective about who you go for and it kind of forces you to learn a bit more about how the game works. But maybe this only works for me because I don't mind playing the same character for a long time. Like I don't, I also don't really experience FOMO that much. Okay, regardless, the first half team managed to score almost 3500 points. So that sets us up really well for the second half, where I only really need to score 2,500. And now with Himiko on the team, that should probably be possible as long as no one dies. Once Pure Fiction is fully cleared, the last thing on the menu is Apocalyptic Shadow. But I'm probably saving this for a separate video. I Clara doesn't work in Apocalyptic Shadow. Her kit is made as a counter-based design where she only deals damage if she is hit. But how Apocalyptic Shadow works is it relies on you breaking the boss and then nuking him down when he's weakness broken. But the problem is when the boss is weakness broken, Clara doesn't deal any damage whatsoever because the boss physically can't attack. So there's no way for Clara to deal fast enough damage. I don't know. And also like, maybe 
it's just this current boss, but Adventurian summons five balls, and initially only the ones at the very ends are able to be destroyed. And if Adventurian is the only one attacking and it attacks Clara, then Clara can only deal damage to Adventurian and the two balls beside it. And they're pretty much like immune to damage until you destroy the outer balls. And so what ends up happening is it takes ages for for you to destroy the balls and then it takes ages to destroy Adventurian himself. So I don't think it's possible for my current two teams to defeat Apoc Apocalyptic Shadow Stage 4. I somehow managed to do Stage 3, but Stage 4 just doesn't seem possible. I did try pulling Fei Xiao, but if you watched the last video, you know that I ended up getting Jepard instead. So at this point, I'm not sure exactly what to do because I really don't think Apocalyptic Shadow is possible. Oh, Himoko just died there. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm so close to 60k that... Yeah, there we go. We just got 60k. So the rest of the run doesn't matter at this point anymore. Everyone just dies one by one. <laughs> the goal was achieved. Anything else is just bonus points at this point. Alright, there we go. 60k Pure Fiction. And now we're pretty much done what I set out to do, which was the clear endgame content with a brand new account. So I'll go over the character builds one more time. There is not much that changed. Lynx is nothing special. Quid pro quo. Ta traces are not leveled all the way up. Relics aren't leveled all the way up. Also at E0, so very relatable. Clara, um, decent ratio, but traces, only the follow-up talent is maxed. Everything else is at 9. And the relics, outside of the headpiece, which is really good, the rest are garbage. So this one is not that good. This one's not that good. No crit damage. This one's not that good. I think only two rolls. This one's not that good. And this one's not that good either. Robin, attack is a bit low. Traces are low. Relics are okay. She got the job done, though. She's mostly there for her triple action advance. Same story with Herda, level 70 cone, traces aren't maxed, not all the relics are leveled. Firefly is the only one that I actually fully maxed out. Ranmei, also traces are not maxed and relics are not maxed. And I think that's the story for the rest of them as well. Yeah. Like, I'm going through and I'm showing you how low investment these characters are. But that goes to show that to clear everything full stars, you don't need to invest too heavily. You just need to invest in the right units and kind of know what you're doing. So I've completed MOC and Pure Fiction. The last thing remaining is Apocalyptic Shadow. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that one. Clara just isn't cut out for that game mode, and so I functionally only have one proper team. And it won't work if I can only clear one side but not the other.